Introduction We all know that all plants need water. The wilted leaves recover when plant is added to the soil, which means that water has been conducted upwards into the leaves. Yes, we have also learnt that the leaves for photosynthesis need water. Likewise, the food produced in the leaves has to be transported to other parts of the plant, including the stem, the roots, flowers and fruits, etc. All this transportation is the function of conducting tissues. Yes, Ankita, similarly, in animals, the food absorbed by the gut has to be carried to all the body parts. Oxygen absorbed in the lungs has to be transported to every cell of the body. The carbon dioxide produced in the cells has to be carried to the lungs for elimination. All such functions are the result of a transport system. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand the need for a system of transport in plants and animals. Find out mechanism for movement of molecules such as diffusion. Understand osmosis and active transport. Understand the importance of blood as a medium of transport. Find out the structure and function of human heart. Understand the composition of blood. Understand difference between arteries, veins and capillaries. Understand the major blood groups and state the matching groups for blood transfusion. Find out disorders of circulatory system and find out the structure and function of xylem and phloem in plants. Mechanisms for movement of molecules. Molecules move in and out of a cell through the cell membrane. The cell membrane is selectively permeable to substances, which means that it permits entry and exit of certain molecules only. The movement of molecules takes place by diffusion, osmosis and active transport. Diffusion is movement of particles or molecules from a region of their higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration. For example, during respiration, oxygen-laden air in lungs being at a higher concentration moves into blood capillaries having lower concentration of oxygen in them. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region having more water molecules to a region having less water molecules when separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane means a membrane which allows some molecules, that is, water molecules, to pass through it but not some other larger molecules. No energy is spent during diffusion or osmosis. Active transport is movement of molecules against concentration gradient, that is, from a region of their low concentration to a region of their higher concentration. Energy is required in active transport. Transport of materials in human beings. In the body of majority of animals, substances are transported from one part of the body to another through blood. Thus, blood is the tissue of transport and circulates throughout the body. Blood transports nutrients, respiratory gases, hormones and waste material from one part of the body to another. Circulatory system consists of organs which make blood circulate throughout the body. Human circulatory system consists of centrally located muscular pump called heart and blood vessels which are tube-like structures connected to the heart. Blood vessels are of three kinds, arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries. They carry blood from heart to various parts of the body. Veins. They bring blood from various parts of the body to the heart. Capillaries. These are thin vessels between the artery and the vein. The capillaries allow the exchange of materials between blood and tissues. Human heart. Structure Heart is a powerful muscular organ lying between lungs in the upper part of thorax of our body. It is four chambered to right and left atria, singular atrium, also called auricles, and two right and left ventricles. The heart is made of specialized muscle cells, also called cardiac muscle fibers, which contract and relax all the time without getting tired. 
the contraction and relaxation follows a rhythm called heartbeat to pump blood into the vessels. Rhythmic heartbeat results in the proper transport of substances to the various organs. In one minute, normal human heart beats about 72 times. Abnormalities in heartbeat can be seen by taking ECG or electrocardiography. Functions of human heart Impure blood is the blood low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide and pure blood is full of oxygen. A large vein, the vena cava, collects impure or deoxygenated blood through veins from all parts of the body and empties into the right atrium. At the same time, vein from the lungs brings oxygen-laden blood to left atrium. At this time, all the four chambers of the heart are relaxed. Then, the atria contract and impure blood from right atrium enters the right ventricle and purified blood from left atrium enters the left ventricle. Valves within the heart prevent blood from flowing back. Next, the ventricles contract while the atria relax. Blood to be purified is transported to the lungs from right ventricle through two pulmonary atries. The oxygen-laden blood from the left ventricle gets pumped into a large artery called aorta. It carries oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. The veins bring impure blood to the heart and the arteries take the pure blood away from the heart. But there are two exceptions. The pulmonary artery carries impure blood and the pulmonary vein carries pure blood. Blood Blood is a connective tissue that circulates throughout the body. It is made up of a fluid medium called plasma in which flow three types of blood cells called red blood cells, white blood cells and blood platelets. Blood cells are manufactured in the bone marrow. Red blood cells, RBC or erythrocytes. These are circular in shape and contain a red colored pigment called hemoglobin. No nucleus is present in RBCs. RBC carries oxygen to tissues and bring back carbon dioxide from tissues. About 5 million mm3 erythrocytes occur in circulating blood. White blood cells, WBC or leukocytes. Since they carry no pigments, therefore they so are colorless. WBC have irregular shape. In the circulating blood, 5,000 to 7,000 mm3 WCs are present. They prevent body from infections by eating up germs or by producing antibodies. Blood platelets, thrombocytes. These are very small fragments of cells. They have no nuclei. They participate in clotting of blood. Functions of blood. Blood carries nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones and waste material to the relevant parts of the body. Some medicines when taken in the body are also distributed through blood. Lymph Lymph is also a circulatory fluid and flows in the lymph vessels. It is light yellow in color. It always flows only in one direction from tissues to heart. Cells called lymphocytes present in lymph eat up germs and prevent body from infections. Lymph carries digested fats from intestine to other parts. It returns proteins and fluid from circulation to tissues. Blood pressure The force that blood exerts against the wall of a vessel is called blood pressure. This pressure is much greater in arteries than in veins. The pressure of blood inside the artery during ventricular systole contraction is called systolic pressure and pressure in artery during ventricular diastole relaxation is called diastolic pressure. The normal systolic pressure is about 120 mm of mercury and diastolic pressure is up to 80 mm of mercury. Blood pressure is measured with an instrument called sphygmo manometer. High blood pressure is called hypertension and is caused by the contraction of arteries which results in increased resistance to blood flow. It can lead to the rupture of an artery and internal bleeding. Disorders related to circulatory system Heart attack 
Like all other organs, heart also needs food and oxygen. When arteries supplying the heart become thick due to age or faulty, diet consisting of excessive fatty food, muscle cells of the heart cannot beat in the proper rhythm. Heart attack occurs, which can be detected in an abnormal ECG, and there are methods of treatment. Anemia When hemoglobin level falls below a certain point, the condition is called anemia. It makes the person weak and look pale and inactive. Iron in the diet helps remove anemia. Leukemia This is blood cancer. The bone marrow makes excessive WBCs at the cost of RBCs. Hypertension It is high blood pressure and leads to headache, dizziness and fatigue. Normal blood pressure is 120 upon 80. High blood pressure is caused by anxiety also. Transport of materials in plants Transport of water Roots of plants take up water and minerals from the soil. We have already learnt this water move up from roots to leaves for needs like photosynthesis by conducting tissues, xylem and phloem. Tracheids and vessels, which are non-living cells of xylem, transport water picked up by root hairs from soil to the leaves. Transport of food material from leaves to other parts of the plant is called translocation. This food may be stored in fruits, stem or roots. Transport of water The upward movement of water and minerals termed ascent of sap is against gravity and is due to transpiration pull. Transpiration is the process in which a lot of water evaporates as water vapor from pores on the surface of leaf called stomata. This evaporation creates a vacuum and pulls up water through the xylem. Transport of food and other substances Transport of food material, sugars and other food molecules synthesized in the leaves are transported to other parts of the plant through phloem. Sieve tubes are living cells of the phloem which transport food. Activity Take two small pots of approximately the same size and having the same amount of soil. We will fix a plant in one pot and a stick of the same height as the plant in the other pot. Cover the soil in both pots with a plastic sheet so that moisture cannot escape by evaporation. Cover both sets, one with the plant and the other with the stick, with plastic sheets and place in bright sunlight for half an hour. The pot with plant has small droplets of water inside the plastic sheet. This is due to the transportation of water and transpiration from leaves. Did you know? Hemoglobin content is different in male and female human beings. Normal human male has 14.5 plus minus 2 gram percent. Normal human female has 12 plus minus 2 gram percent. In human beings, the blood passes through the heart twice in one complete cycle of the body. Therefore, it is called double circulation. The sinoatrial SA node is a small mass of specialized muscle cells found in the walls of the right atrium near the opening of the vena cava. This tissue initiates and maintains the heartbeat. When it fails to function, an electronic device pacemaker is implanted into the chest of the patient to maintain heartbeat. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Molecules move in and out of cells by diffusion, osmosis or active transport. In most animals, blood circulates through heart and blood vessels to reach all parts of body. Heart in humans is four-chambered, two upper chambers are called atria and lower chambers are ventricles. Capillaries are thin blood vessels between an artery and a vein. Lymphatic system is made of lymph vessels in which a colorless fluid called lymph flows. In plants, water is absorbed from soil by root hairs and reaches leaves and other parts through xylem vessels.